Okay, we're here. We're back. Hello, I'm Risa. I'm Amala. This is Omri Unfiltered. Welcome back. If you're new here, which all of you should be new here considering this is a new channel, make sure you like and subscribe. Risa, what are we talking about today? We are talking about the ick. Do you guys even know what that is? Have you ever been starting off dating somebody, getting to know somebody, you're feeling the feelings of infatuation and then suddenly you get the ick? I can't say that Wait, I personally have. I think there's been times where I'm like, oh, that was awkward, but I wasn't disgusted with the person. But it sounds like the people on the internet will become so disgusted that they don't want to talk to anyone anymore. Yeah. So let's give you guys, if you haven't heard the phrase, the ick, let me give you a, a quick little definition of what that means. The ick is basically anything ranging from big to small that someone says or does that will make you feel almost queasy. Like make you feel unwell. You previously were thinking all good things and then they do it. It makes you feel like gross. So we compiled a few icks for you and we're going to talk about them. Yeah. Now that we've received our, our internet lesson, let's let's make a judgment on other people's icks. Starting with ick number one. What's your biggest ick in a girl? When she try to be too cute when she eating. You know what I'm saying? When you get that chicken wing, <laughs> don't worry, baby. Just eat the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he says just eat the whole thing. I know what he's talking about, though, when the girl's like, you can't be delicate eating a chicken wing. You oh, know? the nail's done, and you're just trying to be all cute with the you, pinkies out. Or you use a fork to, like, get the meat off. <laughs> oh, no. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do it. Here's the thing. I think in watching these videos, I'm going to be sympathetic to the things that people say give them the ick. Like, I can understand if you saw somebody do an embarrassing thing or it made you a little queasy or something, how you would be like, ooh. Oh! Should it be the premise or the basis for you not being in a relationship <laughs> with that person anymore or not seeing that person anymore? No. He, everybody does embarrassing things. So for me, it's irritating to see these people be like, oh, that's so gross. Like everybody does awkward actions, right. embarrassing actions. We all trip a little bit. We all have to be a little awkward sometimes getting out of a car. Oh. <laughs> When you were going through these videos, you said that it made you lose your faith in humanity. Yes. I want you to expand on that. I just think that people are becoming so picky with their partners and no one's dating. Like none of the young people are actually dating or mm -hmm. actually caring about relationships. And I'm like, this is your fault because you're worried about the smallest things about a person. Yes. Yeah, some of these are crazy. Next, we have that thing where you tap someone on the left shoulder, switch to the right and they look left. Uh, A, if you do that. And B, if you fall for it, that's the oldest trick in the game. How do you possibly fall for it? <laughs> okay. I, I like to think a lot of this is just like comedy for fun, like for giggles, yeah. and that people are not actually making a big deal out of these things. I, I feel like I've had conversations with some of my female friends that they're like, yeah, he did this. And I just keep thinking about it. And I'm like, uh, who gives a shit? Like, it's fine. Like, right. You know? Right. They fixate on these, like, embarrassing actions. Do you agree with that this is really annoying, though? This ick is extremely... Yeah, a little... <laughs> <laughs> it's very, uh, it's very middle school. It is. It's uh, just not funny or obviously like original right i can understand i've i've definitely heard the same thing that you're talking about where girls are like oh my gosh i saw him trip the other day and it made me like it gave me the ick <laughs> or i saw him ask somebody for directions and it gave me the ick how can you be that sensitive to the actions yeah. of another person if i'm being optimistic it's not real and it's just people are not actually making decisions based off of this based off of these feelings but wouldn't you say that a lot of people will complain about the characteristics of the opposite sex, but they actually don't hold those characteristics themselves. Yes, 100%. I saw a girl say, he gave me the ick because he breathed too hard. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure that happens to all of us. We've all said a dumb joke. Yeah, we've all, we've all done something that would be embarrassing to other people and to ourselves. Yes. But here's the lesson, right? The only one who can make you embarrassed is you. So exactly. don't listen to these people on the internet. It doesn't matter what you think. This is more TikTok X. When he's waiting for the lifeguard to let him go down the slide. I saw <laughs> that, brother. I saw that. <laughs> these guys are funny. Ooh, they are uh, funny. I do love them. When he's waiting for the lifeguard to let him go down the slide. <laughs> is he supposed to just go? <laughs> A man would go. A man never <laughs> a man takes directions from another man. If a guy asks me for chewing gum, 
I really don't even know what to say about it because I don't know why it gives me the ick. It just sounds like the entire sentence stinks. And I know it sounds so crazy, like it sounds so stupid. It's like now automatically you've basically just sat here and said your breath stinks. Oh, okay. okay. At least she knows that that sounds crazy and ridiculous. Uh, uh, yeah, at least she knows. At least she's self-aware because she sounded serious. Some of the other ones, there's like, okay, maybe they're joking, they're being comedic, but she sounded serious. Yeah, that's crazy. If he, a guy asked you for gum, there could be... Do you think Cause, cause, just because we chew gum, we have bad breath? Right. Like, everybody chews gum. Or even if he did have bad breath for a moment, wouldn't you be like cheering him on for yeah. asking for a piece of gum rather than trying to continue conversing with you or kissing you or something exactly. like that? Come on now. Next. Oh, easy. The uh, astrology, that star sign nonsense. Uh, star Don't make any sense. How are you going to base someone's whole personality of when they're born? Like, come on now. It's not sense. Don't make any sense. Okay, I agree with this one. <laughs> I do agree with this one too. <laughs> I heard Mercury is in retrograde. I don't know what it means, but everybody's talking about it, so it can't be good. <laughs> in LA, we deal with so many people that love astrology. Right. They will ask you what your sign or your birthday is. Mainly women, by the way. It is mainly women. Men who yes. are into astrology. Or it's gay men or women. Gay men or women, gay right? Women, yeah. Sorry, guys. Or you're trying to get with women, so you're pretending to be into astrology. Exactly. There's that. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not. Would I stop dating somebody if they said they were into astrology? No, but. Graham. Would I stop dating somebody because they were interested in astrology? No. Would I question my decision? <laughs> yes. It's a little what strange. What does into astrology mean? Like, if they believed in a little bit? A little bit, you know? Not that they're like, they like what's your books. sun? What's your moon? What time of yeah. day were you born? I want to make you a little chart. Okay, if that was becoming a thing, I'd be like, I'm so sorry. But I date men. I I'm guess I've so never sorry. met a straight man that was into it. Me neither. Actually, I'm going to take that back. You have? Yes, I have been asked that by straight men. But did you feel like it was because they were actually interested or because they think women are interested in astrology? I, no, I think it's kind of like this weird spiritual type that oh. wants to ask. But you're right. You could be a con. We've talked about this, how I feel like I trust guys too much or I think yes. that they don't have bad intentions. Yes. And they're all just a bunch of liars. <laughs> it was all a lie. She needs to learn. She needs to get the ick more often. <laughs> If they run weird, and I, I'm only saying this because I just discovered this. There was a girl I, I've had like some interest in for like uh -huh. a year or two, and I came to LA and I met her. She made me like two shots or something, and she like ran over to her friend, and I happened to glance over and I saw her running. Kind of runs like you, you know the, how. If she runs, how... I get it, right? People have their little quirks and things that become immediate turnoffs. I'm trying to think of what my equivalent would be of like. It would have to be, if I were to choose an ick, it would have to be something that shows maybe like a lack of self-awareness. I don't know what it would be. I'm trying to think of something weird. Like, if you go on a first date with a man, he picks you up. Don't let men pick you up on the first date. But let's say he picks you up, right? You're in his car. He starts playing like rap music and he's rapping, but he just can't rap. He just can't. Like, <laughs> he, can't, he can't stay on okay. beat. He can't get the flow right. He misses the words. I just need some fucking water and some sugar. How you don't got no tissue in here? You would probably have the it. I would have the it. <laughs> I so we found something, right? I love singing to the to like the radio, but uh -huh. I would never sing in front of somebody. Oh, okay. Because I think that's awkward. Like you're in the car with somebody, and you just start singing. I get it. If you're like free and you don't care if other people judge you or whatever, that's kind of cool and endearing. But it's like if they're bad at it. But if they're bad at it and they think they're good at it. Oh. That's the problem. Okay. If you're bad at something and you like do it freely or whatever, like if you're a bad <laughs> dancer, a bad rapper, a bad singer, and you just do it freely and you don't care, attractive technically. But if you're a bad at something and you think you're good, it's like watching those old American Idol auditions yeah. where they think they're going to be a star. And then and the they try so hard. I made it through the wilderness. I might have to sit that one out. I might have to go. <laughs> okay, so know what know what your strengths and weaknesses know are. Know your kids. strengths. <laughs> just become, just build self awareness. You know, it's rough. You gotta admit to your weaknesses, but and if you're bad, it. like keep going. Yes, but be. It's probably better to to be uh, more terrible at it. Right. You know. Right. Like if you know you're bad, just like overdo it. Yeah, 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 and just like own it. But don't say you're great at something and then yes. not be that. Most girls think they're good at dancing. Something That's true. I've learned. No comment. <laughs>
Check yourself, TikTokers. <laughs> if you're in love with him, just imagine him eating a big bowl of spaghetti and him getting the big red marks around his mouth and then walking around not knowing all day. Imagine it. Go on. That does not give me the ick. Does no. that give you the ick? If anything, I, I kind of think that's kind of cute. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen a lot on TikTok where women are like, imagine your ex or whatever doing this, and then you'll get the ick and get over him, which is kind of a weird it is. psychological trick. It is. That... Just maybe just move on. Yeah. Just keep on living. Yeah. Because yeah. it's, it's kind of like you're making up lies about the person. Right. Because right. you're visualizing doing them things that they haven't done. What was the one that we saw? It was like, if you're, if you're having trouble getting over a guy, imagine him dropping a coin on the floor and having to run after the rolling coin <laughs> <laughs> oh man i'm like at least it makes me laugh uh that, yeah to to imagine these sorts of things but if you truly like somebody and you're interested in somebody i can't imagine these little icks getting in the way agreed I'm I'm gonna, really I mean, we said this in the last video too like if somebody is really attractive and you're really into them you don't care what they do exactly yeah, they can eat as much spaghetti as they want. When a guy's following ratio is so disproportionate, like he follows 2,000 people but only has like 500 followers, ugh. Okay, this is very Gen Z to me. Right, it is very Gen Z. I don't, and that, that has never occurred to me. It's, and then it's also a red flag for girls to have guys post a lot of pictures of themselves, right? Right. Which usually means they have more followers. It depends on the type of pictures, right? Okay, exactly. let's break down what are some actual icks to get from social media of a man. If you go on the man's Instagram <laughs> and he has pictures like this, <laughs> then you can have the ick. <laughs> if y'all see any man take pictures like this, or they squint their eyes like this, when they take pictures, baby, just let it go. He gonna waste your time. You can have the egg. Yeah, if he's like squinting or he's got like money in his hand. Yeah. Showing he's wearing off a his ski watch. mask. Yeah, showing off his watch, showing off his car. You're like, I, I give you permission. Permission to have the ick. If you it's can. all like travel photos, you know. Permission to get the ick. Yes. Fair enough, fair enough. Following a bunch of Instagram models. That's the key, right? So she said the following ratio in that video. That doesn't matter. It's going through them to see who he's following. If he's following like musicians that he likes or like, I don't know, artists or stuff like that or people that he's friends with, that's fine. If he's following like IG baddies. And that's not even ick, that's just a red flag. Yeah. It's just a straight up red flag. It's more of an ick if they're like commenting on their photos. Or like I've seen the ones where like the a girl was embarrassed because her boyfriend messaged a soccer player and was like, good luck on your game. <laughs> All right, man, it ain't that funny. Come on. <laughs> like, yeah, that's a dick. That's know? a dick. Yeah. And that's a fair one. We went into this, you know, not being super sympathetic, but I think as we're talking about it, we're finding more icks. Okay, so final thoughts. Today you might have just learned what an ick is, which congratulations on going on this educational journey with the two of us. Yes. Uh, I'm sorry <laughs> if you start thinking about your icks. <laughs> you started this with no faith in humanity after watching these videos. How do you feel about icks now? I think, like you said, I just hope people aren't using it, deciding that they're not, that this person is not for them based yeah. off of something stupid they did. Yeah, that's where I stand. I think we all feel things. We all have the little things that make us feel a little strange, but don't completely cut somebody off or stop pursuing them because one little thing. I do think girls in particular are sold this storyline of he has to be a complete and utter Prince Charming. Everything has to be perfect. And if it's not, it's not real love. And if it's not, it's not a relationship worth having. And that narrative, if you actually believe it, is going to be so detrimental. Exactly. To finding what you're, you're going to find out what real relationships look like. It's yeah. not. It's not that all the time. And it, what's funny is like I feel that a lot of young people will be totally fine with obvious red flags and being mm -hmm. treated a certain way, and then they're complaining about all these little tiny things that do not matter at all. Risa, what you just said was so profound. I just want to take a moment. I just have to take a moment of silence to sit on that. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that is so true. You'll be dealing with actual deep character flaws in a person and then be like. Make excuses I, for them. Yeah. yeah. I, oh, but I saw his butt crack. 
that means yeah. that, that gave me the ick <laughs> oh jeez you'll make excuses for the bigger things but the little things are what you're sensitive to put that on a pillow yeah snaps <laughs> all right let's let let's talk about your ick so thinking that you're good at something and not having the self awareness yes. to know that you're not that is uh that's a pretty big ick uh, i thought of one and it's when a group of grown men split the bill more than two ways <laughs> i think that's just ridiculous you are a single or dual pair that's it, it yeah that's so funny like i'm assuming you know if you're all over the age of 30 you're have a little money you're, or you're, yeah. you're out in restaurants so you can take care of yourself sure and you're and not one of you can cover it or venmo or whatever that's you want to make the server split the bill five different ways that's you know i've never thought about that i don't know if i have any more maybe i need to develop more icks <laughs> or i think i'm fine i think i'll just continue <laughs> with my very short list i don't think anybody needs more of yes. those we're all fallible, right? We all make mistakes. We all embarrass ourselves. We all do little weird things that other people might be uncomfortable with. And we move on. Yep. It's We're okay. going to continue. I don't think I am too much. I actually think I'm the perfect right portion. Okay. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, Graham, bye. do you have any icks? <laughs> well, thank you everyone for tuning in. This is Graham, by the way. This we, is my uh, Bengal cat. Oh, there we go. He says hi. We <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe. What else should you do? <laughs> Click the notification bell to be notified yes. every single time we post a video for you guys, which will happen, you know, when it happens. We're, we're trying. We're trying every other week. So we appreciate your patience. And we appreciate your support. We'll see you guys next time. Comment your icks down below yes, or how please. you feel about ick culture in general. Let us know.